David was a man after God's own heart. I'm sure you've heard this all your life, and it is the very best way to describe him. But just what does that mean? Well, to start, David's heart was always full of praise. Oh, he loved God with all his heart, and every day that he lived, he trusted God to lead him. It all started when he was just a boy, watching over his father's sheep. He would play his harp and sing the most beautiful songs and... Uh, but wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. For many years after the time of Moses, judges ruled over the land of Israel. In fact, I was the last of them. But the people didn't want a judge anymore. They wanted a king. Israel's first king was Saul. But Saul violated God's commands, so the Lord sent me to Bethlehem to sacrifice and worship and to anoint a new king. Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name. Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name. Give praise to the Lord, glory and praise. Give praise to the Lord, glory and praise. I invited Jesse and his many sons along with the elders of that city to the celebration. When I saw Eliam, the eldest and tallest son, I thought, surely this is the one. But the Lord said, do not consider his appearance. I do not look at the things man looks at. I look at... rejected. I asked, is this all? Jesse said, no, there is my youngest, David. He is tending the sheep. I sent for him, and when he arrived, the Lord said, this is the one. So I took the horn of oil and anointed him king. And from that day on, the spirit of the Lord came upon David in power. Ascribe him glory. Celebrate, let the earth be glad. I will celebrate, let the sea resound, let the trees sing for joy. We will celebrate, let the heavens rejoice. We will celebrate, let the earth be glad. We will celebrate, let the sea resound, let the trees sing for joy. David, one day you will be king. Lord must reign on the throne. The Lord Almighty reigns. I will celebrate. Let the heavens rejoice. Celebrate. Let the earth be glad. Celebrate. Let the sea resound. Let the trees sing for joy. We will celebrate. Let the heavens rejoice. After the celebration, 
David returned to his father's sheep. He was amazed at the special future God had prepared for him and humbled by it as well. In the green hills above Bethlehem, he picked up his small harp, and out of his heart poured a psalm about God being his shepherd and his own commitment to fulfill the destiny to which God had called him. The Lord is my shepherd, my trusted friend and guide. I don't need anything. He's always there. He takes care of me. He makes me walk in pleasant places, green pastures, and by the quiet streams, mountain lakes, and still waters. He refreshes my spirit. He restores me. He guides me along a path of righteousness, a path He chose for His name's sake. And if I face the hardest, most difficult challenge in my life, the darkest shadow, my darkest hour, I will not be afraid of anyone, I'll go anywhere, because you are with me, I Give me courage, give me comfort, give me strength. You're preparing a wonderful future, a purpose of victory in front of my enemies. People who say, I'm sure to fail. I'm too weak, not worthy of you, but you have anointed me, given me a destiny, opened my eyes to see, you have chosen me. before he came to the attention of King Saul. You see, because Saul disobeyed God, an evil spirit terrorized him. Saul's servants suggested that music might soothe the savage beast within. So they sent for David, and when he played, Saul did feel better. Saul conscripted David into the king's service, and for the next six years, David went back and forth between the palace and tending his father's sheep. But it wasn't just an evil spirit that tormented Saul. The Philistines also made his life miserable. They gathered their forces for war against Israel. And their champion, a giant named Goliath, challenged anyone in Israel to fight to the death. But Goliath was so big and strong, 
No one in Saul's army dared to go up against him. No one until David, that is. When the shepherd boy heard Goliath's challenge, his heart was filled with courage to stand up for the honor of God. And his response was different from all the rest. Who is this Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? It was a very hot day in that valley where the Philistine champion stood. For 40 days in a row, Goliath had terrified them. For Saul and Israel, things weren't looking very good. Over nine feet tall, clothed in armor, as big and deadly as they come. With his weapons in his hands and a challenge in his voice, he made the men in Israel's army turn and run. Choose a man and send him down to fight me. If he wins, we will be your slaves. But if I overcome and kill him, we will send your spineless army to their graves. It was morning and the armies faced each other. As the shepherd boy came close so he could hear, he saw the army run before Goliath and felt a courage welling up that had no fear. And then he just couldn't stand it any longer as the giant cursed and flashed his sword. But the battle isn't his, David shouted. The battle belongs to the Lord. rumbled down through the front lines and on to the ears of the king. They brought him in and David stood before him. Just a shepherd with a staff and a sling. And David said to the king, Don't lose any heart on account of this giant. I will go and fight him. It's the truth. But you're too young, said the king. He's a warrior. He's been a fighting man from his youth. Then David told the king an amazing story. How a lion carried off his helpless lamb. And when he rescued it, the beast attacked him. And he grabbed it by its hair and killed it. Both a lion and a bear, he killed them with his hands. Well, then the king dressed a youth in his own tunic, a coat of armor with a helmet and a sword. But David couldn't move with all that weight on, so he went out in just the power of the Lord. like a cedar of iron. He bellowed in a voice that was mean. Come down and fight me. And David walked alone into the valley. And he picked up five smooth stones from the stream. Goliath came in closer. Am I a dog that you come with sticks and stones? By the gods of the Philistines, I curse you. I'll give the beasts and birds your flesh and bones. And then in the strength of the Almighty, David said, I'll strike you down instead. And all the world will know there is a God in Israel. I'll take your sword and cut off your head. Then suddenly the giant attacked him, and David's sling went round and round and round and round. He slung a stone that sank into the giant's forehead, and Goliath toppled forward to the ground.
my son. I am going the way of all the earth. Be strong and show yourself a man. When one rules over men in righteousness, when he rules in the fear of God, he is like the light of morning at sunrise. On a cloudless morning, like the brightness after rain that that brings the grass from the earth. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord my God is with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Walk in his ways and keep his commands so that you may prosper in all that you do. Be strong and courageous and do the work. After ruling Israel for 40 years, King David died. His heart was so full of praise. A king in so many ways. A man who could fight. He did what was right. He loved God with all his might. And he was a man of prayer. His wisdom was just and fair. Right from the start, he was a man after God's own heart. God's own heart. 